Hello, my lovely Leos. I hope you guys are well today on this fine hump day. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I will be doing your April 2019 general reading. So it could be love, money, life, health, whatever, you know, all encompassing. So whatever we, whatever comes up is what we're going to discuss. A lot of other reads have gone into love land, you know, exes, relationships, just new people, whatever. Um, but I try to read multiple stories, but I can only say what I see. So, um, yeah, that's what this is all about. Keep in mind, time and energy is, is fluid. So just because it says um, this is for April, it doesn't mean that it's only for April. It can extend beyond this month or it can apply to your situation at any time you view this reading. Um, whenever you watch it, that's when you're meant to see it. So I'm going to go over the preliminary baloney and then we'll dive right into your reading. So this is a general reading. It will not apply to every Leo. That is impossible. I wish I could do it, but I can't. There is an awful lot of you and not every single Leo is dealing with the same situation. Um, obviously, we're all on different paths and we all have a different journey. So um, if it doesn't resonate, I'm sorry, maybe next time, um, check your other signs, moon rising, Mercury, Venus, what have you. Um, go from there to gather some insight because sometimes we resonate more with our rising signs or moon signs versus our sun sign. Um, and if, you know, I'm not, we're not vibing, uh, there are plenty of other readers out there. So don't leave any hate comments. We want to keep the positivity flowing in here. If it's not your story, maybe I can get it next month. Um, or next reading. You never know. The more you interact with me, the more apt I am to pick up on your energy. So like, share, comment, and subscribe so that hopefully we can connect. I would love to, you know, vibe with you. Um, I would like to thank everybody who has purchased a personal reading. It means the world to me. I love doing this. Um, and I just feel so thankful that you guys choose me to dive deeper into your own personal situation. Um, that's a very intimate thing to do, and I just love that you put that much trust and faith in me. Um, I've gotten amazing feedback and reviews from you guys. I will post some on um, on my website at some point, so you guys can. So if you haven't gotten a reading from me, you can kind of see what people have already said about their personal readings. Um, I'm gonna keep them all anonymous just because it, I. It's nobody's business <laughs> who said what. Just I don't want to put that out there unless they give me that prior permission. And I, I haven't gone there yet. Um, and I would like to also thank everybody who has donated to my channel. Any denomination helps. I just recently lost my day job. So I really don't have finances coming in. I'm trying to make a living out of this in the meantime. Because this is what I'd like to do ultimately, you know, full time. Um, but you know, I gotta, I gotta go where the money is. I, I'm a single mama too. So take it where, where you can get it kind of thing. Um, so it really helps me out tremendously. Thank you for supporting me and my channel and my work. Um, and if you would like a personal reading and haven't had one yet, email me, my emails in the box below, and I will gladly give you that information. Um, it's also on the community tab and I still need to update my website. So it's not there yet. I also need to update my blog too. I got a lot of things I need to work on, but uh, my internet's going to get shut off. So I'm trying to bang some of these videos out, but if I'm not feeling energetically intertwined with a sign for a reading, I'm not going to do, it. I'm not going to force it. So I'm going to do what I can and then hopefully get some pre-recorded and find a place to upload them, I guess. Um, but I'll figure it out. I always do. Spirit's amazing. So even when we have pitfalls, you know, um, things do look up. So maybe I'm saying this because that's something that you guys need to hear. Something that you need to understand is that even though times can be extremely difficult, um, whether it's financially or you're heartbroken or your health is declining, no matter what the reason is, because um, we all struggle with different things, it could feel like the 
the end of the world is happening. Um, it can be very difficult to get through these certain situations. And a lot of times we do turn to negative thinking when we are struggling and that just prolongs the struggle. So, um, my advice to you is to stay as optimistic and as positive as possible through the down times so that you can kind of work your way through it a lot faster. Um, that's what I'm trying to do. It's not easy. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not easy, but, um, I have a lot of love and support and you guys have been awesome. So I'm not, I'm not stressing about it. I'm trying not to anyways. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, hold on one second before I dive right in. I need to turn my heater off cause it is freaking hot in here. Okay. That was only a second, but I'm attached to the microphone, so I didn't want to, like, rip everything when I was going across the room. <laughs> Anywho, so that's my general spiel. Um, enough about me and all that. Um, let's get this party started, shall we? So the first cards that we have are all tied up. Re they're all reversed, so we have all tied up, door to spirit, and woman holding coin. And the only card in out of these three that are good to be reversed is all tied up um so I really feel like that's why I expressed what I'm going through and how to kind of deal with it because I feel like some of you obviously not all of you um are going through a difficult time right now or you have it's almost like you see the light at the end of the tunnel but you're not quite there yet like you're still trying to find your way out of the darkness because I feel like you were stuck for oh, quite a while. You felt tied and bound to a person, place, thing, situation, whatever. It could have been health related, it could be your job, lack thereof, um, or to a person, um, romantically or otherwise, but normally when we feel bound to a person, it is in a romantic sense, or sexually at least. And you are a fire sign, so passion runs strong with you guys. I do have Sag in my chart, so I understand that, but I feel like you're releasing those, those, the ties that bind you, what, whatever has been hindering your growth or holding you back. Um, it could be fear, just, you know, whatever the devil brings in all that negative stuff, something was holding you back and keeping you in, either stuck physically, mentally, emotionally, in any way, shape or form. You just felt stuck for for a, quite a while and now you're releasing that um, but at the same time even though you either removed yourself from a situation quit your jobs changed careers moved house like literally packed up and moved um, got a divorce broke up with somebody or finally just said screw it I'm not waiting for my ex to come back or I'm not waiting on anyone anymore um, you could have had been diagnosed with a terminal illness and then you found out that it really isn't terminal and that you're in remission or something like that. So your health was declining and now you're seeing the brighter side of things and you're healing. Um, so you're kind of releasing all that, but you were tied up and stuck for so long in whatever this was, whatever the situation was, that you kind of lost faith. You kind of lost... Oh my gosh, it's so weird when I'm looking at this card in like the angle that I can see it in the computer. It looks like a freaking face. That's creepy. It almost looks like I see someone who's sad kind of looking up like almost like their eyes are looking up and praying and then there's somebody kissing their cheek like telling them it's going to be okay. What the hell? That looks nothing like what I saw. Well, everything's going to be okay, and I feel like Spirit wants you to know that. Um, but I feel like even though that you... That was so crazy. <laughs> it's so funny how I get messages sometimes. But anyways, I feel like even though you are releasing yourself or have released yourself from whatever this situation is, um, you still... You haven't fully regained your faith. Um, it's, I almost get a sense that I feel like I did this. Spirit didn't help me. God didn't help me. You know, angels, whatever. 
anything spiritual. I did this myself. That wasn't what it is. I'm not, um, I feel like a disconnect with your intuition. Like you're not really going within. You're seeing things for kind of what they are. You're just taking shit at face value, basically. And you're not seeing why it's happening, like the bigger picture. And whether you're seeing it or not seeing it, I feel like you've kind of lost faith um, because whatever you were stuck to or bound to, whatever situation you were in, kind of beat you down to a point. Um, it made you feel like if there's a God or if there's a higher power or whatever you used to believe in or are trying to believe in again, um, it's like you weren't, where were you when this was happening? Why? Why do I hurt so bad? Why did I have to go through that? Um, so I feel like this was pretty traumatic, at least for a small group of you. For others of you, you're just, you've lost touch with yourself. You need to ground yourself so that you, um, so your chakras are aligned so that you can listen to your intuition and really, you know, regain your faith. Um, but I feel like there are some of you that are just like, if there's a God, this never would have happened. Oh, shit. I hope this isn't for somebody. Um, I just heard kidnapped. I'm not going there because, oh, my God, I, that's why I, when I was talking about losing faith and stuff, I almost wanted to cry. And I'm thinking, why the hell do I want to cry? Maybe somebody's really struggling with this emotionally. And then I heard the word kidnapped and, like, literally all tied up. Um, and I saw an image of somebody tied to a chair. So some of you could have lost faith because a child or someone you care about, um, something really, really bad happened to them. Um, whether they were pa they passed away because of this, maybe you don't know who took them or who did this to them, uh, or you just found out. Um, and you feel like the justice system is failing you in some way, shape, or form. Um, I just feel like no matter what the situation is, i got to get out of that energy because I'm not, I'm not going there. And if that did happen, my condolences, that's got to be, that's going to be so rough. I couldn't even imagine. Um, and I can totally understand why you would lose faith. Um, but faith is what brings us, brings us back to life, brings us out of that that stuck energy. Um, I just feel like you guys, a lot of you have just lost faith overall or in a person or a situation. So even if you do still believe in your higher power and you know that your angels and in the universe and whatever, they're, um, guiding you and helping you and trying to nudge you in, in a new direction, you might've lost faith in an actual relationship or a person like, I can't do like, there's no saving you kind of thing. Um, so that could be for some, and then we have woman holding coin reversed. And when she's reversed, this is not the best. It could be past or present energy, but it's kind of, it was a third card out. So it's kind of like progression. I feel like, um, there's a male and a female in this deck. And I know we all vibe, it's all energy. So masculine, feminine energy males, females, we all have it in us, but this is feminine energy. And I really see this as a female. And I always see her as an older female, like a motherly figure, a grandmother, an aunt, someone older than you could be an older sibling, like sister, or just could be, I mean, it could be your brother or your father and they just vibe in that really feminine energy. Um, but I get a sense that this person wasn't there for you when you needed them the most. And now that, I don't know, I feel like this person took something from you. Like, they're not helpful. Um, and if it was in the past, they probably screwed you over financially or, um, why the hell did I just see prostitution? I don't know if somebody forced somebody into prostitution or, um, this could be gaining money in a negative way as well to go along with that. Um, so it's almost like having, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a pre preconceived notion of how to 
get money. So, I mean, this could be theft, it could be pro illegal gain, you know, selling drugs, prostitution, whatever. Um, and it could have came from this female and it's almost like that's all you know and you don't know how to get out of that cycle and I feel like some of you, you kind of lost faith but you're trying to get, you're getting away from it. You're trying to break the cycle, to break the ties that bind you. Um, but whoever this woman is, regardless of that, because that's probably for like one person or a very small group, this woman um, is either taking from you now has taken from you in the past or is screwing up your money somehow, some way, whatever they're doing. She's, she's a greedy and she's not helpful. I'm just going to put it that way. So I, you could have released yourself from this individual and it very well could be your freaking mother or someone very close to you. It could be friend, family, whatever. It doesn't matter. But this person I just heard vindictive. She can be vindictive. I just feel selfishness. Like, it's all about me. Me, 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 me. If it doesn't benefit me, then screw you kind of thing. And I don't feel like this is your energy, Leo. I feel like this is somebody around you. Like, who's trying to take advantage of you or did in the past. Whether you're male or female, same-sex relationship, it doesn't matter. You know what your situation is. So with the extra cards that I pulled, I have number 16, life experience. And you know what's funny? The number 16 is, well, like, between me and my spirit guides, it's a warning. So it means something. It's either something has happened and I'm, and I'm not seeing it right for my own life, if this is how I'm explaining it, or it's a warning that something's coming. I mean, sometimes it can be a good thing, but normally it's a bad thing. Um especially for me. So I just, that's how I see it. And just the fact that I was drawn to look at the, the number 16, I kind of get a sense that this was something you really had to learn from. Like you could have been warned. People could have warned you. You could have seen signs, synchronicities, whatever about this person. She very well could be a thief. Um, I did see a lot of negativity there, so that's not good. Um, but I feel like whatever happened or is happening, um, you're learning a very valuable lesson within this situation, relationship, or otherwise. And it says a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change, time to spread your wings. So if this is a mother figure or someone that you lived with that was supporting you or whatever because I feel like they're they're not the best person um you're releasing yourself from that situation you're finally seeing this person for who they really are and what they're all about um male female doesn't matter this could even be a work situation where you know you're not getting paid enough and you're doing all the work you know um it could be as as simple as that um but I feel like you're learning from this and you're trying to pull away from things that no longer serve you basically it's like I want a fresh start I don't want to deal with this petty crap anymore I don't want to feel pain I don't want to be stuck in negative situations and whatever this is is stressing you the fuck out with the nine of air this is that mental entrapment this is not being able to sleep at night this is having nightmares I mean you could be having insomnia even um, whether you think about this crap during the day or not, I feel like at night when everything's calmed down and you're left with your, all you're left with is your thoughts, that scares you because you don't want to, you don't want to think about whatever this is. You don't want to think about these past situations that you were in. I mean, hell, you could have been the victim of a kidnapping and you escaped, um, or a victim of maybe your parent pushed you into prostitution or stripping or something like that um, when you were younger and you just haven't healed from it. That could be rape. It could be a million things. Um, but I feel PTSD here. I feel like someone was traumatized by a life experience and it had, I really feel like it had to do with a female. S some woman, I just heard a child called it. I don't know if any of you have read that book, but that boy was abused like no tomorrow by his mother. She was a sadistic bitch. Um, 
some of you could have experienced things like that, you know, abuse, like your parents could have abused you or your mother or whoever, sexually, physically, emotionally, you know, there's so many forms of abuse, but I feel PTSD, I feel like, I feel recovery, I feel like you have either gone through therapy, rehab, something happened that allowed you to release yourself from this person. Um, hell, CPS, Child Protective Services, or DCF, whatever they call it in other state, states, um, could have came in and taken you and your siblings or your children or this person's children away um, because of the situation, and it's extremely stressful. You don't know if you'll get your kids back. You don't know if you'll see your mother again. You don't know if you'll see your niece, nephew, cousin, whoever, friends, kids. It doesn't matter. You, whoever, whatever happened... It's like you keep overthinking what happened, um, and you're trying to heal from this. It says, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, and sleepless nights. So just be careful where your thoughts go, because you can kind of dredge up that negative energy again if you overthink it too much, like if that's what you're focusing on. Um, and if you really did struggle with something that severe... I'm going to say that this is something that you're probably not going to be able to get out of alone. So if you do have a therapist, a close friend, social worker, some of you could be a social worker and you deal with cases like this all the time and it bothers you at night. Um, I just feel like there's someone, this isn't going to change without help. And I feel like a lot of you that are dealing with past traumas, no matter what it is, um, are getting that help. And then we have the dreamer, which is like the fool. And it says a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. And I feel like with healing, that's when this is coming in. This is that new beginning, clean slate. Like, okay, um, say for example, you had a rough childhood and became a drug addict because, you know, you want to numb the pain. You don't want to think about it. You don't want to feel it. You just want to get fucked up and not deal with the root of the problem. And a lot of times that is why people turn to substances, whether they're illegal drugs, abusing their prescriptions, or alcohol. It doesn't matter what the substance is. It is what, what people need to understand is it... It's what leads that person to do it in the first place. And it does not define you. It really does not. Um, it doesn't matter if you just did it because you want to party and have fun. Or if you have, you know, traumatic events. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to, whoever dabbled with that stuff, suffered immensely. It, it, you could be freeing yourself from a drug addiction, alcoholism. It does not matter what it is, but I feel like there's a new beginning here that you're trying to release yourself from these toxic substances, people, places, things. And a lot of times you can't get out of those cycles unless you get rid of the friends that came with them kind of thing. Um, and I know that not everybody deals with addictions, but it is a real thing. And there are a lot of people who do. Um, and there, that doesn't make them bad people. Yes, sometimes they can do bad things like prostitution, stealing things because they need to get their fix because they don't want to be in pain with withdrawals and they don't want to feel the trauma that they experienced, you know, before that led them to the point that they're at now. And a lot of people end up in jail. This could also be going to jail because of things like that. I did see rehab right off the start. So I feel like whoever's dealing with this is in the process of getting the help that they need. Rehabilitation um, or you've already gone through it and now you're stepping through the door and it's kind of like everything's new and scary and you don't trust anybody because you've been fucked over so many times. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to say right now, this is getting pretty damn specific. Um, so it's probably for one person, small group. 
Um, but this energy and then these cards I'm pulling and then the main spread can all have different messages. Sometimes they all go together, sometimes they can be different. So kind of hang in there. Um, and also keep in mind that if this is not you, it could be someone in your environment. It could be your sibling, your friend, your boss. You don't know. Um, addicts are pretty good at hiding what they're doing until they cross that line like it's almost like once they are like in over their head that's when you know kind of get caught um, then we have the night of fire right after that so this is making a snap decision this is inconsistent energy this is moving forward passionately rushing in rushing out it can be that player energy as well um, I feel like this is wanting to get this is wanting to have a new beginning quickly like I want this just to be done I want to move forward fast I don't want to be in this energy anymore I don't want to be around these negative people places things whatever I want to move forward in a positive way but I don't know how um, this could also be one quick decision that turns it all around and sends you backwards as well because the fool it's like this dream I believe this is a fool and it's a new beginning but it could be acting foolish and these two together could be being foolish quickly maybe someone in your circle started talking to you again you know from your past and dragged you back down with them because all it takes is one time you know what I mean especially if you already have that addictive nature if we're gonna talk about substances again but I mean this could be a sex addiction even I did see prostitution, like I said, it doesn't always mean, it just doesn't always mean cheating. I mean, yeah, that could be a form of cheating, but I get a sense that this is something suddenly changing, a sudden thought, a sudden action. Um, it could be good, it could be bad. Um, I'm not really sure if it's good or bad just yet, I just know it's sudden. Um, it says a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. I did say health concern up here. So some of you could have overdosed and almost died. And now you're trying to get out of it. Um, if, you're, if you do drugs or if you have some form of addiction... I really feel like you need to get help. I feel like you've been thinking about it, you've been wanting to, but you're embarrassed, you're ashamed, you don't, you don't want anybody to know what you've been doing. Um, you don't know how they'll react. I just feel like things are going to get worse quickly if you don't get the help that you need. And if this isn't you, it could be your spouse, it could be your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Um, your mother, your father, your friend, your family, it doesn't matter who it is. It could be someone really close to you who's struggling with this and they're on, they're, they're going to like just fall off the cliff any day now kind of thing. So, um, don't be afraid to confront somebody who you see struggling if it isn't you and don't be afraid to ask for help if it is you. Um, and if you are struggling with things like this, regardless, it could be anything. If there's something that's really bothering you and you need to get it off your chest and you want to say it anon anonymously to a stranger just to talk, I'm here. My email's in the box below. I will gladly talk to you about this stuff. Um, it, people get such a bad rap for being a drug addict or a junkie or whatever. It doesn't matter what you want to call call the act of it all um, just remember that when you see someone that's in that dark place whether you know them or not don't judge them because they've probably been judged their entire life and that is why they do what they do because they don't want to fucking feel anymore they don't want to deal with it anymore life is too damn hard when you have nobody in your corner kind of thing so don't be that person that shoves them off the cliff um, and don't let somebody do that to you you're better than that you know maybe you don't know but you're worth so much more than that for whoever that is for just know your life is so important you're here for a reason 
Okay, and then after that we have the two of air. This is making a decision, needing to go within, listening to your intuition, um, but not really knowing what to do. What do I do? What do I do? Should, should I get help? Should I not? Um, should I move forward? Should I not? Should I take this person back? Or should I find somebody new? Should I quit my job or stay at my job? Should, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, there's a million and one shoulda, coulda, wouldas. And I feel like there's a back and forth here. Um, and this is a very, very important decision for you. And I feel like you might say, fuck it and just make a snap decision. And it might not be the right one because you don't have all the information. It says being unable or unwilling to make a decision. So this is being indecisive, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. This very well could be, oh shit, I'm going to do it again because... I don't know how to get out of this mentality. I don't know how to move forward. And I'm just going to act like everything's okay. I'm not crying myself to sleep at night. I'm not stressed out. I'm not worried. I'm not this. I'm not that. This is putting on a mask and acting as if what's happening isn't really happening. Um, and this, and when it comes to addictions, again, this can be loved ones can do this sometime it's called enabling when they pretend that there's no problem and they still give that person money um or whatever a roof over their head because they they want to they want to help or they f they don't know how to confront the issue head on because it's too hard I don't want to lose my child I don't want to lose whoever who's close to me, who's, who's suffering with this. I don't want to be, I don't want them to be mad at me kind of thing. So it's like, I'll just turn my head as if nothing's happening. And this could be within a relationship. This could be like your dynamic with your ex, um, or in a current relationship where your partner is doing things they shouldn't be doing. Um, and they're only hurting, they're not only hurting themselves, they're hurting you or the kids or the family or whatever. Um, they could be taking money from you, from your family, from your savings so that you can't pay your bills because they're supporting their habit kind of thing. I know this is going totally into drug land and that's not, I never intend, I, I go into these readings with no intentions. And whatever I see, I say, like I said, and I feel like that's a very prominent message um, for someone, at least for someone. I do see that whoever's dealing with this, these inner demons and the struggle of getting clean or sober or whatever, or just going right, like falling down the hole kind of thing, is, I feel like there's going to be a positive change, but it's going to happen gradually. Um, whatever the situation is, and if we move away from that subject matter, there is something that is highly stressful, um, that is confusing, and you don't know how to move forward. You don't know how to move away from someone or towards someone um, if we're going to get out of the whole drug thing. So there's, there's a difficult decision on the table, basically. All right, just making sure my mic's good. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is that family situation. This could be a job, stability. This could be a desire or you actually have it and you don't even realize it kind of thing. It could also be, I think I said a relationship, relationship job. But then we have the magician in the reverse. This can be a... Either someone feels that they will never attain this Ten of Pentacles, like I will never be stable, I will never have this family situation, I will never have that dream job, whatever, I can't manifest what I want, or, excuse me, this is somebody trying to manipulate a financial situation or a family situation. Then we have the Nine of Wands, Reverse, this is letting your guard down, and this is also kind of giving up, like not putting in the time, energy, and effort necessary to make something happen. So this very well could be somebody feeling like they can't manifest their dreams, they can't manifest this stability, this relationship, this marriage, this job, whatever it is. This could also be somebody manipulating that situation and somebody's giving up, like, I don't, I can't fight you anymore. 
you know this is not listening to yourself this is also coming out of hermit mode um, some of you could be enlightened some of you could have been in rehab and this could be somebody trying to um, get you to slip up but you've done the inner work and you don't want to go back you don't want to deal with it something is not working some of you could have lost your jobs due to whatever this negative situation is something isn't working you could have lost you, you know your husband or your wife could have left you your boyfriend your girlfriend whatever um, something wasn't working somebody didn't want to work towards a situation and then we have the devil there's that temptation this could be the addictions I was talking about um, but this is also feeling tied and bound to something this is all that negative stuff some of you might want to just let go of a person um, regardless of substances and stuff like as you just know it's not good for you so let's see the central energy what is going on I just I feel a major struggle and my stomach hurts really bad all of a sudden and I feel like you're being watched and there's just shit communication maybe somebody's mad at you for getting help or for talking to somebody besides them um, let's see what it oh the high priestess reversed so this is um, secrets coming out like normally the high priestess she holds everything and she doesn't talk about it she doesn't tell anybody everything she knows like the secrets to life you know and she's very intuitive and this is spilling the beans this is everything's out on the table so I feel like if there was a secret that you were hiding or that someone was hiding from you whether it was love or family situation whatever the situation is the cat's out of the bag now so if you are a drug addict or addicted to porn, sex, money, whatever, it doesn't matter what you're addicted to. If you have some form of addiction, um, and it could, it's out, and it could have been going on for a long time, or it could be your child. For some of you, you could have um, a child that's dabbling in drugs or alcohol or whatever, um, and you found out about it. Maybe they told you, maybe their friends told you, however you found out, you found out. Um, for others of you, this is just past traumas, past bullshit that led you to this point and now it's out. Like whatever the situation is, it's, it's out and it did, it stems from a long time ago or there's children involved in this situation. Somebody could have lawyered up, somebody could have made a decision to take you to court Maybe you stole some money or maybe this is you making that decision to um, get the law involved because you can't handle what you found out. You can't handle the situation. It's too much. Things are not working in your favor. They're just, it's like one bullshit thing after another. So it's almost like you're reaching out for help because you're, and I don't feel like you're getting that help, especially from a woman. It could be a female that's causing all these problems. Um, let's see, recent past, the lovers, this is a love, this is a relationship. So there could be children involved or you could have just been with this person for a while. It could be an ex that wants to come back who is struggling with some form of addiction and you found this out. Um, this is needing to make a head over heart decision over somebody you really care about. It could be a family member, but I get more romantic. Yeah, this is trying to make that decision. We have it again. This is a two of air twice. Not knowing what to do. Feeling emotionally drained. Wanting to release these burdens and not have to carry around somebody else's pain, negativity, problems. Um, I feel like you are in over your head. Can I get one more for the lovers? Yeah, you want to move away. You're trying to make a decision to move to calmer waters to get out of a sticky situation. So you could have been trying to get out away from a toxic relationship um, or just a toxic family situation. I really feel like there's children here. Yeah, something came crashing down in the past and you're trying to rebuild. You want to rebuild your life. 
Um, and I feel like you do need to do that from the ground up for whoever this is for. You want to come out of the cold. If you want to go back to somebody romantically, you might have told them or they told you that they care about you or whatever. I feel like you might be walking into a trap, though. It's like you've done the inner work and you've healed, but this person just kind of wants to tear it back down. Um, they don't like you healed. So what is in Leo's thoughts? I feel like you did make the decision to leave this person in the past because you just couldn't can handle whatever they were doing so this might not even be your energy it might be someone that's trying to come back and you're like oh no um we have the seven of pentacles reverse this is no longer waiting and not investing any more time energy and effort into the situation so you want to give up and i feel like if this is your child your ex your friend your family member that is the addict you don't want to give them any more money you found out what they're doing and you don't you you're thinking about cutting them off kind of thing um, regardless of the situation you just don't want to invest in it anymore yeah you want to let go you're trying to make that decision it's a very difficult decision though I really feel like this there's a struggle here why it's all happening Somebody must really need to hear this. And I know I'm going to get some people that are probably going to be mad at me and be like, not everybody's an addict or this or that. And it's like, I warned you guys in the beginning. My readings do get pretty specific. And nobody, or rarely I should say, is somebody going to come up in the comments and boldly admit to the world that they are a heroin addict or they're addicted to cocaine or whatever, whatever the substance may be. Um, they're going to do that in secret and some, I just, I'm picking it up. I feel there's drugs in this, whether it is Leo that's doing it or someone around Leo that Leo really cares about. Yeah. That Leo really cares about that Leo was bound and tied to, you know, this person is no good for you, but you, it's almost like I get a sense like you want to save them. Like, you want to make everything all right, all better. Just fix it. I want things to go back to the way that they used to be. I, I you know, when we first met, <sighs> that's just what I feel. All right, so why is it all happening? I'm about ready to cut the deck and just pick a card here in a minute. Why is all this happening? No, there's two there. There it is. It's definitely something from the past or children involved. The two of wands, it's a decision. You made a decision in the past. Try and just speak up. Yeah, to speak up, to move, to move forward, to get away from this immature energy and you had to leave somebody out in the cold or you felt left out in the cold because of this decision. Somebody moved away from you. Out of friggin' nowhere. Could have been a Scorpio. Let's see, what is this two of wands here for? What is this decision? Could also be for some of you needing to make a decision to be honest with yourself and those around you. We have the two of cups reversed, so this is making a decision to leave to leave somebody, to walk away. It's almost like, yes, I love you. I really do. But, you know, you fuck around too much. You slept with him or her. You know, you're you're dabbling in things that that are no good for you, no good for us. I can't invest in this anymore. Like you stole from me. Kind of, yeah, things were not fair. You manipulated the situation. You know, I, there were times that I let my guard down and you just kind of took over. You took everything. I feel like this was a very difficult decision because there's a lot of love here. And it's, and it's almost like even though this person was kind of manipulative and to they were very toxic. They were in a toxic situation. 
I don't feel like it's that person. Like, like who they are, they're acting out of character because of whatever they're doing, whatever they're on, whoever they're around, whatever their influence is, whether it's a substance or a person or whatever, or circumstance. I feel like you were forced into a new beginning because this person changed this or or they were forced into a new beginning because you changed. It could be vice versa, but I get a sense that somebody changed here and it was like, who are you? I don't even know you anymore. Like you're not my boyfriend. You're not my husband. You're not the man I married. You're not the woman I married kind of thing. Yeah. In the near future, you want to release yourself. Somebody's dirty laundry was aired out. Secrets came out. about why things were not working, why things were not moving forward, possibly because somebody, yeah, juggling, because, because somebody was cheating, somebody was doing multiple things, and if they were not cheating, then they were doing things behind your back, their temptations, their addictions, they were tied and bound to someone or something, because they were not happy or are not happy, or this is you, um, take it where it resonates like I said someone in the situation was overly emotional probably drinking doing whatever not happy um and probably ended up sleeping with Jane down the street or Bob or something all right what is the hangman reversed about what is being released or aired out I feel like some of you were forced to walk away from this person and it was like the hardest decision you ever made. It's almost like I feel like they could have stolen from you. They were just, it's like you just kept loving them and loving them and all it was doing was enabling them and they were taking advantage of you. Yeah, you you found something out and you're releasing yourself from the situation, this person, place or thing, whatever. Um, there's too much conflict here. I feel like you just didn't want to fight anymore. You guys didn't see eye to eye. They were doing things that you didn't agree with or vice versa. So you're like, okay, I can't. I'm sorry. I love you. And this is the hardest fucking thing I've ever had to do in my life. It stresses me out so much. I don't want to cut the cords with you. I love you, but I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I want to cry right now. Like, this is so sad because I feel like you guys could have been very good together or this is a family situation. This could be your child that you have to do this to. Um, but I get more of a sense that this is a romantic relationship in the sense that you felt like you were soulmates with this person. You very well could be. Um, so it was like a really difficult decision that you had to make because of what you found out. It really hurt you. Or they could have found this out about you. This person sees you as their son, as their happiness, as their joy. And that that's good, but it's also bad in the sense that you are their happiness. Like, that's a lot of responsibility to put on somebody. And it can cause so much conflict because it's like, I can't make you happy. You have to be happy. Like, you know what I mean? This is also Leo. This could just be you. But I feel like you were their happiness or are their happiness and they know that you know what's going on they know that you have the truth and they know that it stresses you out that it has caused you a lot of pain and anxiety or vice versa but this is how they view you that their decisions their choices really hurt you it threw you for a loop um that was at the bottom of the deck wasn't it can I get one more for the sun? But for some, you could have found out that they were in jail. Um, like, either they went to jail after you guys broke up or while you were together. If this is romantic, I really think it is. Um, or that they had been to jail in the past and never told you and you found out. And it really upset them. Why is the sun here? Or how they view Leo. I keep wanting to say Cancer. So you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Which is weird that I'm saying that. Because we have like only one Cups card on on the board. So 
Some of you could have just gotten really angry, too. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, so that's really good. They see you as move, happily moving forward, that you have the clarity you need, that you're happy, and that you're released you release them. You're, you're releasing these burdens for your own sanity, basically. Oh, there's the Cancerian I was talking about with the chariot, making a decision to release this and move forward. That's how they view you. So this other person, what's going on with them? This external person, how Cancer sees them. How Cancer, Jesus Christ. Leo. I, I told you, you, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. I'm just saying, I keep wanting to say it. How does Leo see this external person, this, whoever's causing all this, or dealing with this, or struggling with this? What the? Queen of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be, you know, you're Leo. There's quite a bit of fire here, actually. So, how you see this person... that they they take charge that they they get what they want they do what I do what I want is what I just heard so this person gets what they want and I think I said that before that they're very driven and it's almost like no matter what you say what you do they're gonna do whatever they want anyways um, this is a very sexual person as well yeah that they fight for what they want <laughs> And that they let their guards down with every, or that you let your guard down with this person. All they did was make reckless choices. We have the Knight of Fire twice now, so this is, it's almost like, I feel like I let my defenses down because I trusted you, and then you slept with so and so. You did whatever you want. You got what you want, kind of thing. You took advantage of the situation. I feel like that's how you see this person is they just do whatever they want and that they need to heal they need to take care of themselves and that you can't fix them that they can only fix themselves so what I almost said cancer again what does Leo hope for in this situation what is Leo's hopes and I mean it could be vice what the it could be vice versa in the sense that especially seems I keep saying cancer that this could be cancer you could be doing this to a cancer and you see them as being happy and moving forward and they just see you as being in charge and being feisty and beautiful and just getting whatever you want but I really feel like it was the first way that I said that like but it could be there's multiple people so hopes Leo's hopes with this person, with this situation. Healing. There's that meditation. I think I said that in the beginning too. So you really hope that you can heal this situation, that this person can heal, not only heal themselves and get through whatever traumas that they were experiencing, but you, I also get a sense that you want to heal the relationship because you do love this person and you know that they're more than what they're addicted to, no matter what it is. You know that there's more to this person than the crap that they put you through or the shit that they're doing. And I really get that sense because... We have the devil card again. So this is healing from those attachments, those temptations, those addictions, those people, places, things, whatever. Whatever doesn't serve us. Um, could also be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you. But I get more of a sense that this is being bound to a person. Um, it's like you want to be able to heal it. You want it to be... You don't want it to be a toxic. You don't want to be toxically tied to this person. You want it to be love. You love them. You care about them. You want them to heal. And it is extremely stressful. And I feel like you guys have dealt with the justice system regarding this. You just... It's 
almost like I get a sense that you don't it's like you want to punish this person for putting you through shit but at the same time you feel like they're punishing themselves enough to the point that you just want them to heal you want them to get better and you wish that things were different between the two of you that you could work on it so what does Leo fear <coughs> Well, you might fear a Cancer, and we have the Six of Cups, the Chariot, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. So I feel like you fear moving on from the past, making a decision to not talk to this person, not help this person, not be around this person. Some of you might fear losing your children, that you might have to um, let go of your child because they're the ones, they're the ones doing this. Um, that they have the problems that you can't help them with and you don't want to have to move away from them. But I get more of a sense that you fear moving away from this past person and never talking to them again. It's like, or that they won't ever, that they'll just go away. Yeah, that they'll just suddenly go away. Or that they'll love somebody else more. You love this person. It could be a Cancer. It could be a Scorpio. I mean, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this, the Tower, Scorpio. And I keep saying Cancer. So, But the Ace of Cups here, it's almost like you're afraid to love this person because they're so unstable. You never know what's going to happen. Like, is it gonna, like are they going to blow their top? Are they going to get arrested again? Um, you're fearful of that. You just want to have that stable connection and this person is not stable at this time. But like I said, there's love here. And if this is your child, of course you love them. You wish that they would get their shit together. And I feel like someone is getting the help that they need here. They're making that difficult choice. Probably because somebody found out about what they're doing. But whatever the reason, they're trying. So the overall energy or outcome of this situation is the Ten of Swords. This is feeling betrayed. This is an ending. Like I said, something came out, a secret came out, and when it comes to addicts, and I believe I said this, doesn't matter what you're addicted to, if you don't help them or enable them, and you out them to the point where they get caught, whether they have to go to rehab, jail, whatever, they are going to feel betrayed. They are going to get fucking mad. They are probably not going to talk to you for a while, or they're going to call you names, or this or that. But once they heal, and once they see why you did what you did and how much you truly love them and how much they mean to you because you did this, that's going to change. It's just initially it's fucking hard. That's why there's conflict here. Like, I really feel... <sighs> Somebody feels alone. Somebody's pissed off. It's like you had other options. You didn't have to do what you did. You didn't have to call who you called. You didn't have to rat me out. Like, And then this is letting go of that ending. It's being helpful too. So I get a sense that this person, like I said before, they're going to get over it. They're going to release this uh, negative mindset. They just, they need more time to heal. Yeah, they're definitely not stable. They lied about things, about working even. This person could have said they were going to work and they weren't. They were cheating or they were doing something. Somebody could have gotten pregnant in the situation too that wasn't supposed to get pregnant. Maybe someone from the past, maybe a Cancerian got knocked up. Um... There's a secret that came out and it was upsetting as fuck. And it's making someone upset. All right, can I get some advice for any Leos in this situation? <sighs> Dealing with addictions, you know, being tied to people with addictions, no matter who it is, or just, you know, going on in this situation, past traumas, whatever. Spend more time outdoors. So this is that, you know, when I said get grounded, meditation, just take care of yourself. Let go of fear now. 
don't be afraid that this person is never going to talk to you again, that they're going to hate your guts because this person does love you. They're not going to hate you. Um, and from the other person's perspective, they need to let go of fear because, and, and learn to cope with um, their past trauma and whatever's going on in their life that's, that's making them feel the need to do whatever they're doing. Because I feel like there's an underlying issue here. Like, this person isn't a bad person. They're just, they're just doing bad things. Like, do you know what I mean? And it could be for attention, even. But I get more of a sense that they're trying to numb their pain. Um, it's almost like this person has a wall up and they're afraid to love. They're afraid to get too close to somebody because of whatever happened to them in the past. This is a very traumatic reading, I'm just going to say. And if you are dealing with someone like that, Leo, it is very hard to love someone who is that quote-unquote broken because it, misery loves company and you feel like you get dragged down with them. Um, and if that's you, you could be doing this with somebody else and dragging that person down with you um but you're doing it because you don't want to be alone but at the same time you push him away it's like uh, it's a vicious cycle i'm just going off on a fucking rant now so i don't even know any more advice i really hope that whoever this is for receives the message that they need to hear and know and the ultimate message with all this is is it's going to be okay things are going to work out no matter how difficult it feels, how hard it feels, it will get better. You do obviously have people that love you, um, or you really love this person who's dealing with all of this. Um, and sometimes pulling away is the only way to get them to see. This situation is already resolved. This could be someone from the past. Or this could be why you're in this energy initially. Like, this could have already happened and maybe they're coming back around and you're afraid that the history is going to repeat itself kind of thing. Um, somebody could be getting out of rehab or out of jail. Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation and prayer will help with this situation. And then we also have self-respect. So I feel like you guys need to, for whoever this applies to, you know, rely on faith and really believe that you're worthy because you are, damn it. Like we are all here for a reason. We all have something to offer. Don't you ever forget that either. Like you matter. You're important, Leo. We all are. Even the scummiest people on the planet, they're here for a reason too. I mean, narcissists and sociopaths and people, murderers and shit like that, I could do without them. But, you know, there can't be good without evil. And I know it sounds shitty, but it is the cycle of life kind of thing. You, you gotta have it. You gotta have the opposite. You, need to ha you can't have one without the other, and you will never appreciate the good things without the bad. You know what I mean? You have to have something to compare it to. But I feel like you guys are trying to release things that no longer serve you and really heal from past situations. And um, I think it will work out for you. I really hope that the good parts of this resonated with you and that even if the bad parts did, that you got something out of it and that it was inspiring in some way, shape, or form. Like I said, if you would like to talk to me, my email's in the box below. Just hit me up. Like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have time to pick up on your energy. Hit me up for a personal reading. Um, I would love to do one for you. And I really hope that whoever is struggling and in that dark place that I was feeling, that you, c that you really get the help that you need. And... Um, that you know you're not alone even though you don't know me you could always talk to me okay um i've been in some dark places myself in the past so i 
I can understand, we'll say it that way. I'm not going to say I can relate, and I'm not going to say that I know, because everybody goes through a different struggle, and nobody knows your personal struggle except for you. You know what I mean? But people who have gone through similar things can, they do have a certain understanding, I guess you could say, um, but they will never truly know how you feel, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but I wish you guys the best, and I'll talk to you soon, and I love you. Good luck. Bye.